start, I just want to ask, who here thinks that they are perfect? Okay, who here wants to be perfect? I once wanted to be perfect too, and it nearly killed me. I'm now an international professional model, but back when I had this desire for perfection, I was bullied and hated myself for my looks. And that's because I would look in the mirror and see myself wearing the labels that the playground bullies gave me. But if we live our lives based on the judgments of others, then we're living their lives, and not ours. So I developed a way to redefine hate. If you take the E from the end of hate and put it at the beginning, it becomes E-hat. So essentially, when someone's handing us hate, they're handing us an E-hat with a label on it. But it's up to us whether to wear these hats or not. And the more you wear, the more it's going to wear you down. The moment everything changed for me was when I decided to take off these E-hats and learn to love myself. And the ironic thing is that the day I gave my first workshop on self-love was the day that I got scouted to be a model. And here's the interesting thing that I've learned about modeling. The standards created by the media could not be more fake. Next time you see a picture of a model, I want you to remember one word, and that word is clap. C stands for the clothes that get pinned behind our backs to make them look like they fit us better than they do. L stands for lighting, which can take up to an hour to get right, and obviously we can't choose the lighting that people see us in. A is for angles. Every single picture that you see will have been taken 10 different times from 10 different angles. And again, you can't choose the angle that people see you from. A is also for age. You can have 14-year-old girls modeling skincare for middle-aged women. I mean, that's crazy. You can, and P is for preparation. So hair and makeup can take up to three hours. And if we spent that long preparing ourselves every day for a year, that would take up 46 days and nights out of the year. P is also for, of course, Photoshop. In most cases, it would take a shorter amount of time to generate a cartoon character than it would to edit a picture of a model. So my question is, if you're going to compare yourself to a picture of a model, why not compare yourself to Jessica Rabbit or Betty Boop? The problem that this creates for us is it leads us to say, I'll accept myself when I look like that. I should have whiter teeth, I should have longer legs, I should have longer hair. Well, stop shooting all over yourselves, because if you do ever achieve all those things, you still won't love yourself, because it's not true self-love to say that you can't accept yourself for who you already are. So next time you see a picture of a model, you can either give them a clap, or you can stand up and give yourselves a round of applause for knowing that you're not that fake. Think about Rolls-Royce. Rolls-Royce and all the best companies don't have an advertising budget, and they don't promote themselves, because they know their value and they know their worth. And because of this, they have no problem selling. What happens when we question our self-worth is we immediately step into a place of uncertainty and self-neglect, which leads us to attract so much negativity into our lives. When saying, I can't do this, our mind will subconsciously hold these words until it gets the certainty that we were right about what it was we thought we couldn't do. And that's why people who lack in self-love also lack in achieving their goals. And if you don't believe that you can do it, why would anyone else? And if you don't love yourself, how can anyone else? And if you stop judging yourself, you'll stop judging other people. And that's why self-love is so important. Can you imagine how the world would be if no one judged themselves? Can you imagine how the world would be if no one judged anyone? And what even is perfection? It's objective, it's a moving target, and everyone has a different idea of what it actually is. To some people, this is perfect. To some people, this is perfect. To some people, this is perfect, and strangely enough to me, to some people, this is perfect. <laughs> and the same thing actually applies to humans. To some people, perfection is having curves and wavy hair, and in other cultures, perfection is wearing lots of colors and having an elongated neck. The very definition itself is aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So when someone says to you, I think you're perfect, what they're really saying to you is, you are everything that I would like to be. You are very satisfying to me. I would have absolute certainty that I do not need to change if I were you. And parents, 
When you tell your children that they're perfect, all you're doing is giving them a full sense of entitlement and robbing them from being the best version of themselves. So change the definition to match yourself. Tell yourself all I need is already within me now and own yourself because no one else does. Even Coco Chanel said that beauty begins the moment we decide to be ourselves. I know I wouldn't be here today to share the rules of perfection with you if I hadn't learned to break them myself. So the best way that I can share the rules of perfection is with the mirror challenge. Now, I'm sure many of you have seen those viral videos on Facebook and YouTube of the kids standing in front of the mirror going, you were kind, you were smart, you were loved. And their parents are amazing because they've taught them self-love from such an early age. And that's going to come with them for life. But it's never too late to learn to love yourselves. So we're going to do the mirror challenge right now. A mirror is just a piece of glass. And what you see behind it is up to you. So I want you to all close your eyes, all of you. And I want you to visualize the person that you see in the mirror when you wake up in the morning. I want you to look at your messy hair. Girls, I want you to look at your smudged mascara. Guys, I want you to look at your stubble. And I want you to give yourselves a smile. Who else loves that smile? Who else do you love? What else have you got to be proud of? Who else is proud of you? What else are you grateful for? You can open your eyes. Now, doesn't that feel good? Once I learned to love myself, I believe that I became more beautiful to the eye of others. And it's not that my looks changed, it's that my attitude did. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and this can be rephrased to love, light, or radiance is in the eye of the beholder because they all mean the same thing. Beauty is not something that you are. It's something that you feel and radiate outwards. The late Carrie Fisher said that youth and beauty are not accomplishments. They are the temporary, happy byproducts of time. So how did I learn to love myself? I decided to breach the e-hats that my classmates gave me and define myself. I decided to breach the laws of perfection and create my own. I went from being a girl who hated her reflection to a woman who embraces every detail in the mirror, attempting to end my life to loving how beautiful it is, a playground victim to having a wonderful circle of friends. And the one thing that connects all these personal changes is self-love. Once we create our own laws of acceptance, so much more becomes possible. You are your first and your last love. And in the end, you're going to end up with yourself anyway, so you may as well make the effort to have a good relationship with yourself, or that could get quite awkward. So use whatever story you have to make yourself stronger. Even if someone else says something to us that we choose to believe in order to feel fulfilled, we are still the people making ourselves fulfilled. Instead of relying on others to believe that we are who we should be, we are actually relying on ourselves and should therefore tell ourselves that we are exactly who we need to be without relying on others. Because if you can't approve of yourself, how can you expect anyone else to? How many e-hats have you piled up over the years from your colleagues, friends, and family? Isn't it about time that you took them off? Perfection isn't real. There's no point living up to something that doesn't exist. Thank you. <laughs>